Welcome to another ASMR video. Today I am playing Stardew Valley. And in this game the goal is to run a farm and grow vegetables and fish and just live on the country in this relaxing world. So this is my area and I can start by cleaning up the place and also read the mail. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I got something for you, Willie. Well, I just have to go down to the beach, but I'll do it later. This is some sort of trash can. This is actually the first time I'm playing Stardew Valley. After reading about it and hearing about it, I just had to try it. And my first impression is really good. It seems very relaxing and it seems like a mindful game and perfect for ASMR. And um, I just have to clean up this grass and uh, stones and the wood. And if I'll just go up here, I can use my tools. I can change tools by clicking 1 through 9. And it's all about just chopping down and smashing stones to get more resources. And I can change tools. I have to change tools if I want to chop some rocks or wood or, or uh, clean out some weed, grass, etc. So now I'm just walking around cleaning this area so I can grow some seeds and get some vegetables uh, and I can sell the vegetables or eat them so let's just do this I think it's I have to chop ten times on a tree to get it down yes When I'm watering my seeds, I have to refill the mug or the water tank, so I can just walk down to the, to the small water and fill it up. And um, when my energy gets low, I have to rest. So, go to sleep for the night. It's automatically, automatically saving. So now it's raining, so if I had any seeds there, I do not have to water the seeds since it's raining. But if it's sunny outside, I have to water my seeds every day. So what can we do now? We can prepare the field for some seeds pick this tool and dig up some, some dirt and make it possible to, to lay some seeds here. Ah, uh, these turnip seeds that I got from my grandpa, I think. I could just put them here. Just put them nearby each other so they are organized and then I know that it's turnip seeds around this area. Maybe 
maybe chop some wood. I can actually make a chest if I have 50 wood. And uh, then I just have to chop some trees to get more wood. still raining. That's okay. I think you can play this game for very long and just build up a very big farm with lots of vegetables. It's also an objective to to say hello to the people living in this small village. So here it's the things you can create. And if I'll create the chest, I can put some resources inside that because my backpack gets full really quickly. There's a chest. So it require it requires fifty wood. And I can my things inside the chest. So how do we pick this up? Is it supposed to be like this? So how do we move this chest? not very easy. I'm gonna just... No, let's hear. No. Yeah, I can create another field like to grow the mixed seeds. I'll try that first. Okay, let's try it. There we go. Now we can put it right around here okay that's good so this is the, the upper part is the chest I just put my things inside the chest to free up space and that is very handy when you have a lot of resources and other stuff later on I can for example seeds so this is a journal and there is the base seeds I got and I have to water they I have to water them every day yeah okay and a new journal is to visit the beach I will probably get a fishing rod or something so I can fish my own fish or catch my own fish so let's look at the map. That's my farm. And the beach is down in the right corner. This is a bus stop. And I can pick up flowers. And if I eat some flowers, I get more energy. And that is always good. So, this is the, this is, what, what shall I call it, downtown, with some shops and houses, uh, it's also a graveyard here. This is a calendar with an overview over the birthdays. I think it's 28 people living in this small village, and I can give a gift to someone on their birthday and our friendship will get better and better over time so it's it's good to be nice to other people well let's just explore this village now is that the bridge I'm getting down to the beach 
And there's a guy waiting for me. I can talk to him. Oh, hey there, son. Heard there was a newcomer. Okay. Still trying to unwind from a mouse. It was a big hole. Okay. Yes, an old fishing rod. That's great. Now I can catch my old fish. But I'm not quite sure how I can do it. A bamboo pole. Okay, that's great. How do I use it? There's good water here. Okay, all kinds of fish. Oh, that's good. He will also buy anything I'll catch. That's good to know. So, let's try this fishing rod. Just select it and right click. Okay. Do I have to wait or? Maybe I just have to wait. Maybe I can see the fish swimming around, but I don't see anything now. Okay, just hold in and wait for the green, the green color. I guess. Oh. Didn't get any fish on my hook. This is store. Yeah, I can buy. I can buy different things related to the sea, like another fishing rod and maybe some fish. Yeah, okay. I'll do it later. So this is a beach. Is there something I can pick up here? So in the introductions, I should greet 28 people and I have greeted 28. No, I'm sorry, I have greeted eight. So what is this? Yeah, just walking around, see if I can do anything here on the beach. Doesn't seem like it. An old house on the beach. Can I do something there? No. And the bridge that is destroyed? I can rebuild it, but I need more wood. I can head back to the town or the village, whatever you want to call it. So it's a very cozy place, lots of houses. I could just walk inside a house, nobody here. Probably nothing to do there. So, just walk here and greet new people. Hello there. Nice to meet you. My energy is getting low. I need to head back. Oh, it's closed on Wednesdays. I need to head back and relax a bit and I can come back to this shop. Pierre's shop tomorrow and buy some seeds. This is a private home. George. Okay, it doesn't want me here. But I can Say hello to them. An old lady, granny, that's nice. Someone lifting weights inside the room. Oh, not good enough friends yet. So let's do 
just turn back to my own house so I can sleep a bit and rest and get more energy. It's still raining, that's okay. And I don't have to water my seeds, they're already watered. Ah, this is my cozy little home. It's automatically getting saved when I'm sleeping, so that's that's nice to know. It's sunny outside and I have to remember watering my seeds later. But I want to check out the shop first where I can buy more seeds. It is in Pierre's shop. Or Pierre, I'm not sure how I pronounce it. Oh, it's locked. Open 9 a.m. Okay, I'll just wait a couple of hours. The time in this game is moving much quicker than in real life, so that's also nice. Yeah, I should water my seeds. I can spend some time on that. I'm wondering what happens if I forget it one day. If everything just dies or if it's just growing slower. But I don't need to take the chance to find it out. Just remember to water it every day and you don't have to worry about anything goes wrong. So, I can refill my water tank right here. It's probably not going to be emptied anytime soon this water since it's raining all the time so and I can spend some time in cleaning up the area so I can grow more vegetables later. resources. It's always nice to have some resources like wood and and uh, yeah other things. I can build different things. I can probably build a lot of things later in the game when I gather a lot of resources and and uh, when I explore all the shops. I, I, I think it's more than just one shop. I can buy fish and I can buy seeds and probably other things around town. Just clean up some grass. It's a much nicer area just outside my house now. So, I can now check Pierre's shop. Once more. Just walk right inside. There he is. Let's talk to him. Yeah, I can buy lots of different seeds. Parsnip. Okay, what else can I buy? Cauliflower potato. Is it possible to buy any beans? Okay, I have no space in my inventory. I have to get rid of something. So I'll just head back to my house and put some things in the chest. Here we go, I can just put more things inside the chest so I can free up some space in my backpack or in my pockets. I'm not sure how he handles all, handles all this stuff. He's obviously not wearing a backpack. 
probably very big, very big pockets. An advertisement. Oh, so Pierce is selling a size 24 backpack. Okay, that's good to know. Just go inside and see what I can buy now. I'll buy these and cauliflower maybe. It's 80, 80 per seed or what? Do I get a packet of seeds? Potato seeds? Tulip? Pulp, cauliflower seeds. Okay. Yeah, I can just buy different things. It's probably a good idea to grow different, different kind of vegetables. Can also buy sugar, wheat flour, rice, vinegar, oil. Okay, you can buy a lot of things. It's cool to know. Is there, is there anything else in this house? Is it a private area or... No, not good enough friends. Okay. So you have to make friends and create a good reputation around town. It will probably just become. I will probably just become friends when I'm just talking to them or give them some gifts or maybe after a while when I've lived there for some days or weeks, it will be easier, most likely. Just browse here, okay. I just head back to my house so I can plant more seeds in the ground. Just have to do it now in the spring so it can grow nice and steady. So let's see here. What do we have here? We can we can prepare the earth and then I can place some beans. But I don't but I can't place them too close to each other. I have to have some space around them because you can't just cross over. Since they're growing in on these small sticks. Okay, it was only one one bean starter, one bean stick. It was not a pack of seeds. It's good to know, so I know I can buy more the next time I'm in Pierre's shop. So if I organize it, I can plant something around. No, how do I remove this grass? Can I plant something there? No. There I can prepare. Okay, it was working. Can plant something there. And something right. Oh, maybe. Well, I can organize it by having different seeds in different places. It's easier to to know what is where. And just remember to water everything and fill up the water tank. 
Now, let's clean some more space around my house so I can grow more vegetables later on in the game. Also remember that I needed around, was it 200 pieces of wood to fix the bridge, the broken bridge, down at the beach. But I don't need to worry about that now. I can explore it later and try to rebuild it and fix it. the rocks and chop the wood. Ten chops and I get a lot of wood. And that's good. Now I need to rest. My energy is low. Go to sleep for the night. And saving. Oh, I'm leveling up. Foraging. So it's a level system. It's also nice to know. So let's explore the, the different skills. There we go. And this is the friendship, the social, okay, the crafting. So now I can craft wild seeds. And I need some flowers to get it, to actually do it. Just remember to water my plants. I have to do it every day. Or else I will probably just grow a lot slower or maybe even die. And that is unfortunate if that would happen. Water every seed. I have to buy more seeds later. But I'm low on cash. Just wondering how I can get more cash. Maybe I have to wait until the planted seeds are full-grown vegetables and I can sell them in a beer shop or something similar. Just wait and see. Meanwhile I can clean more stones and wood and trees each time I use my tools to chop down something I lose two points in my energy meter. You can see in the down right corner there is an E and a bar that is showing my energy. So each time I walk around and do something, work hard, I will lose energy. So I have to just sleep to get fully restored. seemingly small village and that is good oh, there's a path down here maybe down to the woods yeah I think it's the woods it looks it looks like it lots of trees around there and a tower huh, a tower cool so maybe I can pick up some flower or that's a pink tree, pink leaves and a wagon and there's a tower, looks like a wizard's tower. Oh. 
nothing interesting around here. So, the guy in this wagon is selling different daffodil tulip pants. Okay, but it was way too expensive. Maybe I can fish here later. Just exploring the land. Well, I can check it out later. There's a sign pointing up to my farm and to some other place. Yeah, I think I'll just head back and get some sleep. Walking up the path I cleaned before. It's a lot of wood here, a lot of trees and stones. But I will eventually get more vegetables here and the place will be much cleaner. So, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.